He's a gentleman. You were never ever allowed to touch a stick, right? Touch one stick, the stick will be flipped up. Whacked in front of your legs. Whacked behind the back of your legs. Then you start again at the start. It was a painful method, ladies and gentlemen, but I told my people, lift your feet, don't be lazy. You enter out onto a battlefield, the enemy war party or the enemy tribe, they have no time for those who want to be lazy. You just become the enemy war party. Yeah! <laughs> Come! Kentucky Fried Human. <laughs> or Human Charmaine. The ladies and gentlemen, all right? Long story short, I need two ladies and two men to come down here. was dedicated to your gifts, your skills that you acquired over your lifetime. So in days of old, hunter, food gatherer, warrior, master carver like my brother over here, master tattoo artist, so on. So you could equivalent that to a resume, okay, or a CV, things that you accomplished. Now the left hand side of your face, dedicated to your mother's family tree, your right side, that was dedicated to your fathers. So your genealogy. As for our maidens, they would only receive a marking on their chin. That is called a muko kowai. It represents a spiritual guardian knight out of my people. Now the reason why our women received this marking is because they were the guardians, the nurturers of our children during the daytime. So our women played a very vital role with bringing forth our warriors, our chiefs, that would still yet to flow from her womb. But other than that, folks, that's a very brief insight into this house here, into these two beautiful art for Cairo, our carvings, and our facial markings. Tamu. Now, if you have any questions, please remain behind. Ask them. Welcome to our home of Tawanga Herepa, and also welcome down to the house here, the Whare Atane Ore, dedicated to the art form of haka. Does anyone know what the haka is? Yes. War dance. War dance. Correct, sir. So in days of old, our uh, haka was used to... Uh, Psych up the uh, oneself and also to try and scare away the enemy, okay? Nine times out of ten, it didn't really work, so we ended up fighting to the death anyway. <laughs> but uh, a small bit of good news for you this evening there will be no dying. <laughs> <laughs> now, in order for us to be able to show you what a haka is, I need all the able bodied gentlemen to come on down. So if you can walk and talk, gentlemen, your services are needed. <laughs> Come and join me, gentlemen. Come on down the bottom here. Side by side. My brothers will sort you out into lines. Where are you from, sir? Australia. Australia. G'day, mate. Yeah. I'm doing a hacker, mate. I like the wind. Well done. In the middle here, let's take this. That's great, thank you. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, once again, let's say this all together. Haka! Haka! That's what our warriors here are about to perform on behalf of you, our family. But to, to capture this historic moment, please get your digital devices ready. Let's post this up on Facebook and YouTube. Let the entire universe know what's happening here this evening. Okay, gentlemen, my brothers and I have some simple commands and actions for you to follow. We're going to start with our first one, which is simply a witty and suicide in shaking like so. This is our get ready position. We can also let our opponents know we're ready to rumble. Our next command looks in town like this. Watch carefully. Yum, both! Hey! On the command, we're going to try this together with a good, strong hey. Have a look. Got it locked in now. Yep. In time. Right. Of your now repeat this after me. Here we go. Who can I? 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 Step in your thighs. Step your right foot. Big eyes, big tongue, big voice. Who can I? Matekora kora. Matekora kora. Tenete tanga tapu huru. Huru na na chiki boy faka fiti tera. Hupane kupane. Hupane kupane fiti tera. Hey! Who's gonna? Yeah! 